Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we learn what place values are as they're related to whole numbers. All right. Now, there are just 10 unique symbols that are available to you to make any number on Earth. So if I make a number line over here and I put the numbers starting at 0, I have 0. This is a unique symbol. Then I have 1, which is another unique symbol. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And actually, from 0 through 9, all these symbols are unique. But when I want to write 10, I don't have a unique symbol for 10. When I want to write 10, I simply use a combination of these 10 symbols available to me to write 10. So what I do when I want to write 10 is I simply write 1 followed by a 0. And my mind knows that this is 10 because the 0 is in this position, the rightmost position, followed by the 1 to its left. Okay. So when I see this combination of symbols 1 and 0, my mind processes that this is nothing but 10 and its value is 10. And similarly for 11, we don't have a symbol for 11. We use a combination of these 10 symbols that are available to us to make 11. For 12, it's the same. We use 1 and 2. For 13, 1 and 3 and so on and so forth. And for 562, it's 562, a combination of again these 10 symbols, some combination, okay? But when I look at this combination of 562, my mind knows that this is 562 and it's not 652 or it's not 265, it's 562, 562. And that's because my mind can calculate the value of each of these digits, okay? Now, this 2 over here, this is the rightmost digit, okay? So my mind knows that this is in the ones place. Now, what that means is that the value of this digit 2 is nothing but 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 is 2. So the value of this digit 2 is simply 2. But this 6 on the other hand, the value of this 6 is not 6. It's placed in a position that's 10 times higher than this 2 over here. So if this 2 is in the 1's place, the digit to its left is in 10 times ones place and we call that the tens place right we've seen that in smaller classes that this is called the tens place so the digit in the tens place has a value of okay you take six it has a value of six times ten so it has a value of sixty it doesn't have a value of six it has a value of sixty now how about five well five is one place further to the left so it's said to be in 10 times higher than the tens place. Okay, now 10 times higher than the tens place is the hundreds place. So the 5 is said to be in the hundreds place and its value is 5 times 100. Okay, and 5 times 100 is 500. So when my mind sees 5, 6, 2, it automatically does this processing because it's so trained to do that. So it can calculate that the value of 5, 6, 2 is 500 plus 60 plus 2 and that is 562. So this is really all that there is to place values. The position in which a digit is placed will determine its value, right? So if the digit is placed in the ones place, its value will be that digit times 1. If it's placed in the hundreds place, its value will be that digit times 100. If it's placed in the millions place, well, then its value will be that digit times a million. So let's learn about all the places that there are, maybe say up to 100 million. Okay, so let's do that. So let me clear the slate and let's take a number. Let's take a number, say, how about 7, 8, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and let's find out what the places of each of these digits is and what the values of each of these digits okay so now we know that the one is the rightmost digit so it's said to be in the ones place so its value is one times one and one times one is simply one right now how about two well two is in a place that's 10 times more important than the ones place so 10 times the ones place. That's the place of this digit 2. So 10 times 1 is the tens place. So we call this the tens place. Okay. And this one over here was called the ones place. All right. So 2 is said to be in the tens place. Then what is its value? Well, its value is 
to this digit times 10 because it's in the tens place. So its value is 2 times 10. And 2 times 10, well, what's 2 times 10? 2 times 10 is 20. So its value is 20. Now, how about 3? Well, 3 is in a place that's 10 times more important than the tens place because it's one place to the left of the tens place, right? So it's called or it's said to be in the hundreds place, okay? 10 times tens is 100, right? So this is the hundreds place. You might have learned that in smaller classes. Now, the value of 3, well, since 3 is in the hundreds place, its value is 3 times 100. And 3 times 100 is 300. The next one is 4. And it is in a place that's 10 times higher than the hundreds place, right? Because it's one place to the left of the hundreds place. So this place is called the thousands place. 10 times 100 is 1000. So this is the thousands place, okay? So thousands place, and that gives this digit 4 a value of 4 times 1000. And 4 times 1000, well, 4 times 1000 is 4000. So this is 4000, right? Now, similarly, the 5 over here, okay, 5 is one place to the left of the thousands place. So its value is 10 times higher than the thousands place. And 10 times higher than the thousands place is 10,000. So this is said to be the 10 thousands place. So this is 10 thousands, okay. 10 thousands, which gives this digit 5 a value of, let's see what, 50,000. 5 times 10,000 is 50,000. So 5 has a value of 50,000. Now, similarly for 6, well, 6 is 1 place to the left of 10,000. So it's 10 times higher than 10,000. Okay. And 10 times higher than 10,000 means 100,000. So this is 100,000's place, right? 10 times 10 is 100 and then the thousands. So 10 times 10 is 100. So this is 100 and the thousands is thousands, the 100,000's place. So the 6 is in the 100,000's place and its value is therefore 600,000. So this is 600,000. Now the 9, well, the 9 is simply 10 times 100,000. Okay, now let's look at what we have so far, okay? We started at the ones place, then 1 times 10 gave us the tens place, then 10 times 10 gave us the hundreds place, 100 times 10 gave us the thousands place, thousands times 10 gave us the ten thousands place, then 10 thousands times 10 gave us the hundred thousands place. Now, hundred thousands times 10 should give us the thousand thousands place, right? Because hundred times 10, we know is thousand. Over here, we had hundred and hundred times 10 gave us thousand. So, hundred thousands times 10 should give us thousand thousands. But we don't call this place thousand thousands. What we call this place is millions place. So, 10 times 100 thousands is actually millions. Now, the millions has got 1 followed by 6 zeros. So, the thousand thousands is actually called the millions place. So, this is your millions place. And the value of 9, since 9 is in the millions place, well, the value of 9 would be 9 million. So, you write 9 followed by 6 zeros. So, you have this. This is the 9 millions, right? Now, after that, it's quite simple. It's 10 times millions place. So 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 zeros is 1 followed by 7 zeros, right? So this is your 10 millions place, right? 10 millions place. So 8 has got a value of 80 million. Okay, 80 million is 80 followed by six zeros because millions got six zeros. So 80 million will have 80 followed by six zeros or eight followed by seven zeros. And finally, the seven. Well, the seven is 10 times 10 million. Now, 10 times 10 million is 100 million. And 100 million is simply 100 followed by six zeros. So this is your 100 millions. 100 millions place and since 7 is in the 100 millions place its value is 700 million okay 
Now, when you add up all these numbers, 700 million, 80 million, 9 million, 600,000, 50,000, 4,000, 320 and 1, what you will get is you will get this number. All right. And this is all that there is to place values. All right. That's it. I guess I'm going to end here. I hope that you understood this lesson and hope that now you'll go and do some practice at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.